Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I'm a video game producer in Streamline Games. I started off working in the video production industry, then moved towards mobile games and currently working in the game industry for PCs and consoles. I've loved video games since I was young and it's such an exciting industry to be in. The best part about being in this industry is learning and collaborating with many people from different disciplines, creating a world with your own style and your own rules. Uh, and it's even more rewarding when you accomplish it together. So for the girls who would like to pursue a career in game development, please do so. Do not feel intimidated by the ratio of how many women are in the industry compared to men. It doesn't matter. What matters is your passion and your drive to keep on learning and achieve the goal that you wish. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm a VFX artist from Streamline Studio. I make cool VFX like this. I get to make cool VFX that show feedback to players and enhance their immersion into the game even further. I get to experience and learn from many people in order to bring our game to life. I always loved games since I was a kid. I've been playing since my parents got us the Nintendo NES mini game console. And PC was not a thing back then and yeah, console. <laughs> and what inspired me to choose game development was because of all the awesome art we can see in the game. Like how smooth the characters are and how beautiful the environment is. And I want to be more than just playing the game, I want to be part of it, like building the game itself. Instead of just playing video games, you get to make the game. You get to have your ideas and imagination to be part of the game you are involved in. It's rewarding because we are making a career out of helping people to have fun. So the tips to be a game developer. You gotta be creative and have great passion for video games. Aside from that, you have to be determined and have the courage to speak up. You need your voice to be heard and ideas to be shared. Communication is key. It's not just for communicating with your teammates. You need to know how to communicate your ideas to players through your game. Like communicate your ideas and imagination like what you want the player to feel through your game. I hope you find all these tips are helpful and hopefully it inspires you to join game development in the future. And hope to see you in game development soon. Hey girls, my name is Ethel and I am a project manager slash associate producer at Streamline Games. My responsibilities of my job are to manage the progress of day-to-day -day tasks such as coordinating schedules, leading and facilitating team meetings, and most importantly, ensuring that my team meets and completes all the very important timelines during different phases of the game development cycle. Now, I would consider myself relatively new to the industry. I joined game development in 2018 as a production assistant. Before I joined the game development industry, my background was mainly in digital marketing and I've worked in several different industries and startups in Malaysia and the UK. I made the decision to move into game development simply because I was very curious about the industry and also because I miss working in a very creative environment. Now there are so many kinds of games or genres of games in the industry so one of the most enjoyable aspects about my job is being part of many different kinds of projects. Each one comes with their own sets of challenges and there are always valuable knowledge takeaways that the entire team learns when a game project completes. Another most enjoyable aspect about my job are my teammates made up of incredible artists and programmers who really do make the dream work. If you would like to join the game development industry, I would say you should always be curious. Try to stay as updated as you can about game industry news because things move really quickly. You can do that via Twitter or any online games related news platforms. And you must learn how to be empathetic and adaptable to different people and working conditions or time zones. Uh, try to always be on time, be polite. And remember to never take criticism or feedback very personally, especially during team meetings, because many voices, right? Uh, if you like games or you're just simply curious about the industry as a whole, you can just look up on Google for career options in game development to find out how you can be part of it. Overall, the industry is very fun and very vibrant, but it can also be extremely challenging if you are unprepared for the occasional 
tough working hours and changing timelines. Sometimes it can feel like a roller coaster, and coordinating or making sense of all the loop loops can be quite insane. But at the end of the day, there is a lot of satisfaction when a game that you've been part of, the entire process of the journey to create it, is done and it's out there in public. So that is my contribution about how I've enjoyed my journey in the game development industry and in ICT in general. So I hope to see more women in games in the future. I'm Zin. I'm a game programmer in Streamline Studios. I write code that brings a video game to life. What I enjoy the most is the process of making it, especially one step closer in solving things. I started playing MMO at the age of 11. I was really curious with how pressing X allowing me to see the character jumps in the screen. Tips: Do not be afraid of what you want to do because you can do it. Hi everybody, my name is Sabina and I'm a senior project manager with Streamline Studios. So my role is to work with other project managers to plan, organize, and control a project from the very beginning to the very end. That means we look at budgets, resources, and schedules. At the same time, we're also always analyzing for potential risk or problems that could affect the project. And when we find those, we make sure to plan to prevent them. So what I enjoy most about my role is that as a project manager, I get to follow a project from the very beginning to the very end. So for example, I get to see a character go from a flat 2D image to a model that has been animated that you can use and control in a game to explore the world. So I started out actually in video production where I was uh, producing television advertisements and also working on live TV shows. I realized there were similarities in my role. So when the opportunity came in 2016 to work with Streamline Studios as a project manager on video games, I decided to try my luck and here I am five years later as a senior project manager. Tips for getting into the video games industry. Uh, number one, be curious. Be curious about how these things are made and who made them in the first place. Use this curiosity to fill your interests which leads me to point number two. Google is your best friend. When you're curious, you can always ask Google. Use the internet to find information on how video games are made. You can look for behind the scenes, you can look for game art, you can look for game programming, game design, level design, and learn more about what these roles are and what they do. Number three, be brave. Don't be afraid to explore. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And most of all, don't be afraid of being a girl in the ICT industry. 